And now we're going to discuss the pathophysiology of systemic lupus erythematosus. So, to start with, uh, this side we have here the predisposing factors, the precipitating factors, the mechanism of action all throughout until this side, and we have here the signs and symptoms, the complications of the disease, the diagnostic tests, which will be used to diagnose the disease, the nursing, the nursing VX or the nursing um, diagnosis, and the nursing management here. So to start, okay, we have here the predisposing factors, also known as the non-modifiable factors of the disease. Um, the modifiable, non-modifiable factors include. Genetic factors, the hormonal factors, and the environmental factors. Under the genetic factors are if um, the children are of monozygotic twins and also epigenetics. Epigenetics is um, when there is um, already a uh, faulty na daan sa genet genetic uh, aspect sa bata or sa tao daan pa lang pag-anak niya so genes play a big role on the man, on the kanang pag usbong ani nga disease it's because kanang as you can see later on with our discussion most of the kanang risk factors jud niya kay common ra gyud nga ma experience and maangi and mostly sa tanang tao but not everyone get SLE so manang dako jud og um, kalampigitan ang genetic factors ani niya. Then, under the hormonal factors is the estrogen. Estrogen is um, kanang is presumed to be um, of influence especially to the kanang activity sa immune system. Makapa, makapa increase siya sa activity sa immune system of which maka-affect siya sa sa paggalaw sa mga toll like receptors, mga cytokines, of which those things will be discussed uh, later on as we go through with our discussion. Then, we have here the environmental factors, which is the UV light. So, this UV light will um, influence especially sa process of apoptosis. Okay, apoptosis here, or the process of programmed cell death, is um, the whole such a role sa pag uh, occur sa SLP. So, here we have the precipitating factors or which also known as the modifiable factors. So, we have here the FC, the environmental factors. So, kan, kanang following, kini, Epstein-Barr virus. So, na possibility na maka, if ever a person has been infected with Epstein-Barr virus, vi Epstein-Barr virus, sorry, um, this virus is said to be kanang na actually influence sa production sa B cell of which matakot sa gila po na to na nga uh, appeal gila po ang B cell sa mechanism of action ani okay so then uh, smoking of course we all know that then the potentially certain drugs that increases oxidative stress damage kana because okay so this uh, predisposing factors and the precipitating factors agi ani niya magsugod dito sa mechanism of action so are you ready okay then okay so with the, all these factors so something will happen to your cell so what will happen to your cell it will get injured so there will be injury to body cell then that injury sa cell Mo, musuot na siya taman sa pinaka-component should ana nga single cell. So, may tabo, there will be damaged cell protein and DNA. So, magka-damage na. Then, after that, mo, mo kalat man na siya. So, mo kalat na siya. Then, may tabo, there will be an organ injury. Because an organ is consist, consist of uh, many cells, di ba? Then, after that, that organ nga na injure it will try to self repair kana repair itself unya the normal then okay the normal metabo at first is syempre ma repair ang mga cells pero 
with this um with this disease there will be uh naay mahitabo nga parts nga dili siya ma repair so nara gihapon mapabilin nga damage yung gihapon do naay uban nga na repair so katong damage yung gihapon um it is on our body's mechanism na daad nga ma perform na din siya og program cell death or apoptosis so apoptosis also known as Aside from being called the programmed cell death, it is also it also means that it elim it eliminates or elimination of unwanted cells. So damage no matu siya, di ato siya kinahanglan si nito siya eliminate, di ba? So normally, okay, normally, kana um ma ma eliminate tragita ng mga unwanted cells. But there is SLE ang nahitabok kay na ay uban nga wala na um, wala na tarong o ka-clear. So, okay. Okay. Ano yung tabo? Before sila wala na tarong o ka-clear, after sa ilibaga, form of apoptosis. Then, ang process sa apoptosis, di ay pa, before pa dito, ang process sa apoptosis kay ang immune system, i-clear up niya ang apoptotic cells. Mula siya, kung ginin ganina ang mga um, ang mga actors ana nga process mo ni sila phagocytes, macrophages and simonocytes. And then, okay, so motor lagi as I said da yun, some apoptotic cells are not cleared efficiently. And this is highly related or due to deficiency in some complement proteins like C1, C2, C3, and C4. Okay, um, most of the patients with SLE are found to be deficient in these complement proteins, the C1, C2, and C3, and C4. Um, kining, kining mga complement proteins, C1, C2, C3, C4, um, if we have enough of this, muna sila yung help nga mag-clear ang mga apoptotic cells. But since there is deficiency with these proteins, then ang mahita po is, syempre, dili mag-clear tanan kay wala enough energy or ilana, wala enough na supply. So, next na mahita po is the immune system will then do or undergo process of sensitization. This process of sensitization is the process of which mo um, mo in mo activate sila o usa ka antibody of which it is a defensive protein nga mo react siya sa sa mo react siya sa substance nga new so mura siya og sa like kanang like for example mga pollens mga isip nga bako like smoke or inana and then the immature antigen presenting cell like immature mac macrophage or dendritic cell notice and picks up proteins and nuclear material from apoptotic cells through special receptors like toll-like receptors. So, manotis na da yung tun niya. Tung mga foreign nga mga kanang mga damage na cells. So, also they guys, kining um, toll-like receptors, uh, they um, mo help sad ni sila sa production sa um, auto-antibodies, which will be discussed later on. So, okay, mo pick up siya proteins and nuclear material. Uh, so, the antigen that will be picked up by the APC, also known as the antigen presenting cell, will be, will include the nuclear proteins, um, apil histones, double-stranded DNA, SM, NR, NT, and the RO the cytoplasmic proteins involving RO, and the cell membrane components of cell, including cardiolipin, platelets, and RBC cell membrane components. So, kinin sila ng mga antigen, motapot they will then be displayed in the surface of the antigen presenting cell. So, ang may tabuad ni, muro din siya o, na siya bang una dayod nga components na dayon kining antigen presenting cell of which 
Kini pudayat ng mga antigens are then presented to naif T helper cells in nearby lymph nodes. Kini mga naif T helper cells, maunin sila ang more recognized o uh, mga cells nga they've never encountered before. So, we can say nga kanabang foreign para nila. So, dili sila wala na ilhan na cell. So, di ba? Ma- Ma, ma, dis, ma recognize ni kining antigens nga naka-display sa antigen presenting cell ma recognize ni siya sa naif T helper cells ug mo mahitabo nga there will be a uh, mostly mo ending ani kay there will be a process of uh, inflam uh, kan immune response na immune response but before the immune response it will the secretions of IL-4, also known as the interleukin-4, will initiate or promote T helper 2 cell maturation. Okay? Then, after that, there will be T helper 2 cell maturation, then it will then promote humoral or antibody-fingated immune response. So, after this, this response then this uh, two T helper cell okay, kanang um there will be promotion na sa humoral or antibody mediated immune response. Then this also the maturation of this T helper two cell also will um stimulate after promoting it will also then stimulate B cell activation and B cell proliferation. So kana then if naghana ka rin, activate na ang B cell, may proliferate na si B cell. So, mahita po, activated B cell becomes plasma cell. Plasma and plasma cell are the cells responsible for the production of antibodies, specifically autoantibodies. Okay? These autoantibodies, kay mo ni sila ang mga antibodies nga ka ng um, they tend to um, kanang mo, mo laban sa sila sa kanang our body's own antibodies uh, our body's own uh, antibodies so kana uh, our body's own mga antigens ina na then tar then they will target the antigens the APC picked up so this includes the DS, the double strand DNA histone smro carbilipin kung di picked up ganina it target din sa auto antibodies to mga mga antigens nga nakatapot sa APC. Mm. So murag so makita bu nga mga cells so ni sila sa lawas na to nagatakanay kay namo kuy isa gud murag na alien so mura na kabo. Then most antibodies target the nuclear proteins of the cells known as ANA or anti nuclear antibodies. So then then after that, so magkatakanay naman sila and then ni ni kalat na sa cell to cell ang ilang um pag-away-away. So makita mo all cell in the body will be targeted, di ba? Then after that, auto antibodies come in contact with nuclear proteins. So, and after that, um makita mo na din ni there will be a mechanism of inflammation. Then complement activation, augmenting the inflammatory response will then follow. So, immune complexes bind to FC receptors of immune cells na dayon. Hana. So, then after that, this will trigger the release of flow inflammatory cytokines, promoting inflammation. Okay? Then, the autoantibodies bind on antigens on the cell surface or directly into the internal proteins. And then the complement activation and release of cytokines from the cell. Na dayon, so, kanang dayon present sa cytokines. So, di ba, na-mention ako ng cytokines ganina. Then, the immune cells around the area are then sensitized to the antigen. Then, Toll-like receptor detects nuclear antigen. So, mura lagi siya process of cycle. Nga, na yung maapektuhan. So, kato siya kay, ba, ang body mo release na po aning nga mga kuan, nga mga 
um, like ng mga um, antibodies, mulilis na po, makuha na na po sila antigen, ina na sa mahitabo, magbalik-balik ka gini sila. Then, release cytokines, promoting inflammatory response. Mm? Then, inflammation to surrounding area. So, di ba, di ba, ito po inflammation And then, organ injury and damage. So, muna siya na, di ba, gabalik-balik, di ba, gabalik-balik siya na kanang na ay madamage, tapos ma, ma um, there will be antigens na mukuan atong ha, um, atong ha cell, and then i-attack na siya sa autoantibodies, auto and then mutakot-takot na dahil siya from cell to cell, muna siya na, di, na ang padulungan dyan sa SLE is multi-system di dahil siya na damage. So, there are organ injury and damage. And this involves not just one organ, but as many organ sa, as many system po, depende sa kanang kagrabihon na dyan kaayos sa level sa iyang SLE. Then, cascade of So, there will be cascade of damaged cells which will further cause injury of organs. And this includes of uh, kanang organs from system to system na dyan, if grabe na dyan kaayo na na. Then, cycle continues. Balik-balik ka na siya nga cycle. So, if ever swertean ka, so, as the cycle continues, the information regarding the katong nga mga cells will settle through the intrinsic regulation of immune system. So, mahita po anak kay um, kaning um, matiman anto nila nga, ay, monsunitis at hindi yan na na. So, makagama maka, tag-component sa ato ang mga antibodies nga uh, mas stronger na sila next nilang uh, laban so moto mapindi nila so the body will then slowly recover and it will result to recovery but since SLE systemic lupus erythematosus is a chronic disease most likely the chance ka ayaw ma or with SLE there will be flare ups flare ups are kanang uh, it refers to kanang musamot bitaw ang sakit, mas ni grabe ang symptoms or signs na mabati ang si pasyente, mas ni lala siya, inana. So, mas siya flare up, sa flare ups, maka-experience ay na ang pasyente, ma with SLE. Labi nag wala siya treatment, like, or inana, ipasagdan niya, wala siya management, inana. So, here are the signs and symptoms of the SLE. We have here the constitutional symptoms and other most common signs and symptoms experienced by patients with this disease. So under the constitutional symptoms, we have fatigue, myalgia, weight loss, and fever. Of course, there is an inflammation. So along the mechanism of action sa atong disease, so it's not koan nga na other fever present. So we need to look, we need to be kana magbantay tani. Then, other most common signs and symptoms will be uh, the UV-sensitive butterfly rash um, over the nasal bridge. 50% um, of the mga patients with SLE kay na nani. And then, sensitivity to light or photosensitivity. So, miskit ilang mata pag sa... Or di nila makasensitive kay ilang eyes pag hayag. And then, discoid rash. Discoid rash is kanang rash na scaly, um, scaly siya um, on the sun exposed uh, parts of the skin. Then, the Reynolds phenomenon. Muna siya ang kanang, um, kanang wala na kayo or wala na kaayoy enough uh, blood circulation maabot sa ato fingers. And, osteopenia and osteo osteoporosis. Okay? So, if ever mga lidilid siya makontain hindi nga sakit dayod, na 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 na, it can lead to very serious complications. And since, and we all know that um, kining um, SLE kay um, multi-system siya nga disease, so it involves muni sila nga mga system nga maapektuhan. Okay? So, for the complications, for the neurologic complications, the patient may experience cognitive impairment, headaches and seizures, delirium, psychosis, Peripheral neuropathy. 
sa pulmonary pud nga part kay ang patient team um pwede siya mga experience of interstitial fibrosis, pulmonary vasculitis, pulmonary pleuritis, pleural effusion and pleurisy. For the renal, pwede siya maka-develop og lupus nephritis. Then for the musculoskeletal, we have here the polyarthralgia and arthritis. Then for the cardiovascular, um we have here nga pwede may experience sa pasyente or mapadulungan the pericardial disease, uh, asymptomatic myocarditis, and risk for of risk of valvular heart disease and also hypertension. Siyempre. Then for the gastrointestinal, we have here the non-specific abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, alterations that tend to be from medications, and lastly hematological, the chronic anemia leukopenia and the complications from immunosuppressive drugs kay di ba kanang um, need man jud uh, og kanang immunosuppressive drugs ang pasyente kay um, immune system man ini um, mostly involved and kanang kanang um, and this is also an autoimmune disease so um maka take jud og immunosuppressive drugs pero ini da ta maghinay kay syempre if kana mapatay magani sa immunosuppressive and ma suppress magani sa immunosuppressive drug ang katong mga bad ng mga cell syempre maapil pod ato ang mga good cells so um, most likely maapektuhan dagit gihapon atong body min mahinay mahina taog kanang um, immune system nya which makes us more prone to of developing complications okay so next um, we have here the nursing diagnosis um, we have impaired skin integrity, acute pain, kinamansyon na siya pain, fatigue, and deficient knowledge. Kaning deficient knowledge, this is very important na um, ma-emphasize na to sa pasyente nga huwag na ang magalit siya deficient knowledge ato siyang ma-manage. Okay, importante siya ka ayaw nga makabalo ang pasyente sa kung unsa ang SLE, especially iyaha ng sakit personal, kung saan siya pag-manage, kung saan mga bawal, nga inana, kung saan mga bawal niya gamon, kung saan angan niya gamon. So, the diagnostic test ani to diagnose nga with SLE na dyan ang pasyente. So, we may be asked to kanang kini, full blood count or FBC, electrolyte ruria creatinine or EUC, LFT for liver involvement, urinalysis or urine test and urine microscopy kining duha kining urinalysis or urine microscopy is to kanang test um kanang kidney um health sa kidney if naapektuhan na ba siya or naunsa na siya ana para sa kidney mo sa kidney then the albumin creatinine ratio and the SLE serum markers so kining SLE serum markers mo siya um mo detect sa count or presence sa uh, mga toll-like receptors, mga cytokines, and sa mga um, antibodies na involved yun, ano yung pag-develop sa SLE na i-mention ito ganina sa mechanism of action. And, okay, so, muna siya. Then here, we have the nursing diagnosis. So, ay, nursing diagnosis, sorry. Nursing management. So, I, so, it's put here first during the do health teaching and counseling nga um, health teaching kay um, atong suryaan ng pasyente lagi what kung sa iyang sakit kung sa signs and symptoms kung sa mga pwede nga padulungan kung sa may mong komplikasyon if dili siya mong comply sa management and if mugama siya sa mga bawal and also pwede ba kung sa iyang mga bawal and dili niya nga gamon like for example sa bawal niya gamon di ba kay bawal siya magpainit bawal siya mag-expose to mga smoke then bawal siya kanang um ay maghinay-hinay siya og pamilya og kanang mga kanang mga drugs na basin maka-increase og stress damage or katong mga environment sa so, mga environmental factors nga gimension na kagayna sa risk factors kinahanglan to niya nga likayan para di siya masamo then counseling also counsel ato siya kay basin nagdevelop ang pasyente og kanang fear or mura siya ng hinayang na ang hinayang ka na ba mawala ng pag-asa ito nga mabuhi o di pa niya ma-accept yung sakit sa auto siyang tabangan anak siya council nga kanang 
this and that nga kanang kanang tingnan anyway kanang counsel to siya nga kanang ma-accept niya ang iya ang sakit inana then provide support oh, so ato siyang suportaan sa iyang treatments di lang to siya i-pressure and kanang tingnan ani kanang be there lang with him or her along the way then hydroxychloroquine treatment administer as ordered so hydroxychloroquine treatment is said to be the best treatment for SLE then administer low dose glucocorticoids administer low dose glucocorticoids administer also immunosuppressive drugs pero maghina yan ng immunosuppressive drugs ha bawal bawal kayo ma-expose ang pasyente sa mga sa mga like for example, na-take the immunosuppressive drugs, dahil yun, na, dahil nagpuyo po siya balay, nga daghang ipang ubo, daghang ipang sipo, daghang ipang hilantan, o mahay mo, ipalayo lang sa judge siya, kaya dalit na judge siya, matakdan or prone judge siya, o mga sakit-sakit, if mag-take kaayo, eh, mag-take judge o inani. So, okay, so, guess that will be all for the pathophysiology of SLE. I hope you learned something out of this presentation. Thank you for listening and God bless.